In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple object in Maya and then just uh, export it and import it into Unreal. And it's very uh, simple and easy to do. So let's let's begin. Uh, the first thing I do is I create a scale model in Maya and I model everything to that scale because I want everything to be very consistent from Maya to Unreal. And first thing I do is I go to create polygon primitives and a cube. And for that cube, uh, the height units from Maya to Unreal, the height is 96. And the width I usually put 32 and depth 32. So it creates a little block scale for me to reference from. So I, I usually just pull that up and set it off to the side. Now let's create our object to uh, export it from Maya and this is going to be very simple and just to show you the workflow and how to do so so let's create our uh, let's create a sphere let's size it up and pull it up and whatever you create in Maya the origin point from Maya to Unreal will be at zero zero so if you take this object and you move it over here and you export it that way this pivot point in Unreal will be in uh, right in the middle of zero zero so you'll see your object off to the side and it doesn't import exactly so if you want to keep everything consistent and uh, the pivot point will be inside the object itself you want to model uh, everything at the zero zero axis so let's take this object and let's name it I'm gonna name this sphere import and you're gonna see why this is important um, in here now uh, so select your object and then on that tool shelf that we created in the last tutorial we already have our AX mesh so once you have your object selected click on this and Unreal Editor exporter comes up and uh, what I do is I usually have selected items only checked then use geometry name as file name and we did that and I just click on auto triangulate. Now you don't have to do this you're able to import just fine uh, without checking this but I do and um, that's it for uh, I just use these three and sometimes I use obey hard edges depending on the object uh, then what you want to do is uh, if you need to you just set a default output path to a folder where it's going to save to I, I just export mesh and it's going to save it to a uh, local C drive and it tells me that everything was exported fine it tells me the polygons and tells me um, um, how many materials click OK let's jump uh, into uh, let's start up Unreal inside Unreal the first thing we want to do is we want to create uh, a new map and we want to save that as soon as possible uh, go to file new and you are presented with two options. Uh, the best one to choose is additive. Subtractive is the previous versions of Unreal. You uh, used uh, subtractive and uh, community consensus says additive is best and Epic's Unreal Maps. Most of them are done in additive space. And the difference between the two is subtractive you carve your map out of a big mass. So think of a rock and you are carving into that rock your map or you're actually carving things out to create your map and additive is you're presented with a big void of empty space and you are creating objects into that so we're gonna use additive click OK so now uh, then what I do is we need to just create some kind of a plane or something to um, have our object imported to you don't have to do this, I, j I just do this, so let me do this really quick. So I just create the plane. And then control A. So now we have a little simple plane that's untextured. Then what we want to do is we want to import our object. Actually, no, we want to save. So go to file, save as, and uh, let's save this as deathmatch test import save so now it says deathmatch test import 
and now we can safely uh, safe, uh, safely import our object into Unreal. So then what you want to do is you want to open the generic browser window, go to file, import, and I saved my into local disk space and here is my file. Yours may be in a different folder depending on what your output, uh, output path was. Double click and you are presented with the import uh, package name group everything else the name is what you named and imported uh, exported from Maya uh, group is basically a folder within a package that you're able to organize your uh, static meshes better and package is um, basically a package is a, a file where all your static meshes will be held so uh, if you, uh, you have two options you can create a new package uh, with all your static meshes in there and every time you distribute your map to everybody else they will have two different files that will have uh, a package file and your map file and your map file will reference your package file to uh, have the static meshes reference from another option to do so is you import your static mesh into your map itself so you have only your uh, one file and all your static meshes and textures that you imported are in that one file. Uh, there's pros and cons to uh, one or two uh, but the best way to think of it is if you have a large set of static meshes it's better to have them in a separate package and if you have only one or two objects I would import them into the map itself. So in this case I'm just going to import them into my map and I have to import it into the package name as the name of my map and click OK so if I scroll down you should see deathmatch test import and here's my uh, here's my object it's on textures and it's ugly but we got it in and you may want to add collisions to this may not um, just really quick uh, you turn the uh, show collisions and you can add any of these collision models so I'm gonna add the sphere you can see it and now let's add to the map so after you selected the object go in here right click add actor add static mesh and it's in there and if you can't see it for some reason it's because we don't have any lights and I just set to unlit and we have imported our first object and also before you do anything else uh, make sure you uh, save all so it saves all your static meshes, static packages and everything else into into your map that's it